All right, guys, doing a quick project here. I have this little uh, titanium clip that I use on my uh, keys. I'm going to heat anodize it. So all I'm going to do is just hold it with this, uh, you know, multi-tool here. It's the Leatherman Juice, just so that obviously I don't burn myself. And then uh, I'm going to use a torch to uh, heat it up. And it's going to change all kinds of colors and hopefully look nicer than just plain titanium. All right, so probably got to insert some music here just so it's not so boring. So here we go, just a, a quick close up of this one section. I'm gonna go back and do a bunch of different sections and of course show you what it looks like when it's all done. But should give it a nice little uh, color pop so it's not just plain titanium. So I'll be back when we're all done. All right, all done. So let's take a look at it. All of about 10 minutes work. You can see there's just an array of different blues and greens and kind of pale yellow and uh, a little bit of purple in there, but mostly blue. Pretty cool. I like it. Kind of random pattern. I mean, with the oils in your fingers and stuff like that, when you're heat anodizing, if it's on there, it could create like fingerprints. That's something that's pretty common that I've seen before if you're not cleaning it thoroughly. Some people like doing stripe designs. Um, shows all different things you could do out there. But this is just a real simple, quick thing. All you need is a piece of titanium and, of course, uh, a torch. I use two different torches here. These are just two cheapos that I'm kind of testing. Uh, this one's pretty cool. It does stay on. You know, so you don't have to hold that button the whole time, as well as this one. But this one is a little bit better and happen to have more fuel. This has a nice kind of lip on the, uh, you know, the actuation button. Then you can lock that on so you can focus on the areas you're, you're trying to hit with that heat. But all you're doing, again, is just heating the titanium up, and it is changing colors. This is not something that's going to rub off. It's just uh, kind of a, uh, you know, coating. But it's pretty cool. It just takes a simple little bit of heat couple minutes of your time and obviously you want to hold it with a pair of pliers or something uh, these being all metal you might think well you know that heats up pretty fast the head of the pliers heat up so you want to you know use some caution and obviously don't touch that when everything's still hot let it cool down but it only takes about a minute or two to cool down to uh you know be able to handle it but uh yeah pretty cool like i said most people know about this but i'm just doing a video so i was doing it anyway and i figure for people who don't know about this you can absolutely heat anodize titanium now, if you use electricity, and there's a lot of uh, really good videos on how to do it, even simply at home with a couple, you know, basic tools, you can very uh, specifically get the colors that you want. So if you want a certain look, it's much easier to do that with, um, you know, uh, electricity as opposed to the heat. The heat, you just kind of get random, you know, designs. But anyway, pretty cool. I like it. So that's pretty much it. Just wanted to share that with you guys. Thanks for watching. Hope you have an awesome day, and I'll see you soon. Take care.